Hello, this is Peter from Weymouth Dorset UK. I run Zip Media at www.zipzipmedia.com and this is my 12th video photo walk around Weymouth. Who knows where I'll get to? Come and join me. Yes, we are starting the walk from the concrete pier here in Weymouth. Um, I've been up this way before but we're going to take a slight deviation and get onto the other pier there where the uh, tower is. So let's start off with the walk. We're walking down here. It's a beautiful, beautiful day here in Weymouth. I only come out here on beautiful days, or well, that's maybe the way it seems. But when it's lovely here in Weymouth, it really is lovely. So the building you can see in front of us is the back of the North Fort, the uh, gun emplacements, and I don't think they were ever used in anger. Uh, if we stop here you can see a boat going out. Oh, how I'd love one of those. Isn't it beautiful? Fabulous. Anyway, let's get back to the walk. Not so much daydreaming, huh? Right, here we come back onto the walk. I get kind of uh, diverted sometimes when I see interesting things which I suppose is a good idea because you never know what's going to happen. I never know what's going to happen in these walks. I might meet people or I might see things. So you, you are with me. You see what I see. So let's continue up here. These videos are all totally free. There is no charge on my YouTube channel or anywhere else. Um, if you'd like to go to my website that you'll see the uh, address of at the beginning of the video and also at the end of the video, I think, you can see what else that I do. So we're coming up to the end of the stone pier here. Um, I believe there is something, that little stump at the end of the pier that you see in front of us. I'll uh, go and have a look at that, have a read at that. I think it's something to do with a local shipwreck. So I'll read to you what it says. Weymouth is full of beautiful scenery this time of year. Um, I actually, uh, as I've said in previous videos, I actually worked in the North Fort many years ago when they were cleaning it out. I was there with a team of unemployed people and we were given shovels and picks and uh, pots of paint and we actually cleaned out all the rooms in the North Fort for the Civic Society to take over. Okay, well there is the stump I was aiming for. Let's have a read about what it says. To commemorate the 200th anniversary of the tragic loss of the Earl of Abergavenny. She was outward bound East India Company ship which struck the shambles bank of Portland Bill during a gale on the bitter winter's night of the 5th of February 1805. A rising tide finally freed her and although flooding fast the captain and crew uh, tried desperately to beach her on Weymouth Sands where they lost the battle and she tragically sank two miles from the safety of the beach in ten fathoms of water. Over 250 passengers troops and crew including her captain John Wordsworth brother of the poet William 
drowned in the wreck two miles southeast of this plaque. Many were buried at All Saints Church, White Regis, in an unmarked grave, others at St Anne's Radipole and St Andrew's Preston. Ill-fated vessel, ghostly shock, at length delivered from the rock, the deep she hath regained, and though the stormy night they steer, labouring for life in here in hope and fear to reach as safe a shore how near yet not to be attained William Wordsworth this plaque was unveiled by Andrew Sargent Coxon of the Weymouth lifeboat on the 5th of February 2005 on behalf of Weymouth Lunar Society and sponsored by Grant Livingston Limited Canvey Island Essex and Weymouth Museum so that's a little bit of history for you. All right, let's continue the walk now. Weymouth is full of history too. <laughs> uh, a friend of mine on Facebook um, Mark Vine is uh, pushing and really into the uh, great conspiracy that happened here. I'll put a link to his website down below this video so you can have a look. Uh, one of the it's one of the historical events that I think is really important to remember because as Mark said if this had have gone completely wrong we would be speaking French by now in England. So have a look at that website and even buy his book. I'm trying to get uh, a meeting with Mark so I can do an interview with him about his book. So if Mark sees this at some time, let's get together and let's get together and make a video. So I'm walking back along here now. We've done this walk a little uh, 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 a little time before if you go back onto my videos on my video channel on YouTube um, but I'm going to take a slight detour on this one not walk back into town you'll actually see when I get there so I try to edit these vlogs as little as possible um, I try to insert interesting pictures or music or whatever I write I create the music myself so there is no problem with copyright uh, and I upload them from home if they are longer than 15 minutes I normally make my videos on a Monday and uh, they are posted on a Tuesday morning around about 8 a.m. Then I share them to Facebook and all my other social networks which you can find on my website. It is all totally free. You can support what I do in various ways. If you go to my website, there is a uh, PayPal donation tip jar there. Uh, you can support me on Patreon and various other ways, or you can buy my digital photographs from Pinterest. I'll put a link under this video where you can see my photographs on Pinterest so we come along here I'm also wanting to invest in a DJI Osmo mobile this will make my handheld videos that much smoother 
um, I'll put a link in the uh, about section down below so you can see what I'm talking about Okay, so we're coming up, we've got the boatyard on my right here. As I say, it is a glorious, glorious day here in Weymouth today. It wasn't so nice yesterday, it was raining yesterday. And it's a little bit grey, it rained all day, but today it is glorious. There is the uh, one of the Weymouth lifeboats over there. Okay, so we are just coming around the bend here. I like to think that these walks are seen all over the world. I've got a lot of views in the UK and quite a number of views in Weymouth itself and they've said to me you know because I don't uh, get out I don't walk as much as I did or something like that it's nice to see where they used to walk here we are this is where I'm going to go now I'm going to cross the harbour on the ferry okay I want to go across okay now we want to go across should we wait for somebody else or okay here we go onto the ferry the little ferry it's been going a very very long time I've been told Okay, there we are. <laughs> you say this ferry's been going for a very long time. You say this ferry's been going yeah. for a very long time. How long again? About 600 years. About 600 years. So that was the ride on the little ferry. Now, let's continue the walk. Yeah. Uh, let's continue the walk. 
So we come along here. That was a pound to cross the harbour. And I was just told, you've probably heard by the uh, the man who rode the boat, that it's been going about 600 years. Which is incredible. Um, he said before there was a bridge, there was a ferry like that. So that's been going 600 years. So if you want a, an interesting experience, come along to Weymouth and take the ferry across the harbour. This is the old ferry building here. If you have a look, that's where we've just come from over there by the lifeboat house. We're on the other side of the harbour now. They are selling caravans here on the pavilion car park. Whoop. You see the DJI Osmo would take all that out, all that bouncing around. So we're coming around here by the pavilion, one of my favourite places in Weymouth. Uh, as you can see there's a lot going on. As I've said in previous videos, at one time the pavilion was going to be closed down. The council didn't want any more to do with it. So they thought of closing it down. But the community group took it over and now it is bustling. Yes, the Weymouth Pavilion is incredibly busy now. So let's continue the walk. Ah. Here's an open double-decker bus coming down. The Jurassic Coaster. I don't know where that goes, but we'll cross over the road here. It is very busy and I'll show you a couple of things that might be of interest. As you can see there are a lot of people bathing in the sea today, a lot of people. Weymouth is renowned to be incredibly safe for family bathing. Children, dogs even, as you can see there. It's a glorious day, glorious day for a walk. As I've told you in previous videos, I work nights, one in the morning until eight in the morning, five days a week. And I'm just coming up to 61 years old. And I'd like to do something else, anyway. There is the back of the pavilion, the building you see on the top floor there by the railings, that is the crow's nest, or was the crow's nest. That is where the crow's nest theatre company that I was in used to meet and build all the sets and write all the scripts. And we used to perform on the stage on the ground floor there. What is going to happen to the pavilion theatre in the future is hopefully good things because the uh, this community group is taken over as I've said and they are running it really really well in front of us you can see the uh, um, Jurassic eye I think it's called now 
if you look back on my video channel ah there it is going up if you look back on my video channel you should be able to find the ride I took on the Jurassic Eye so you can see you can feel what it feels like if you are scared of heights it's a great way to see what it feels like because you are sitting in your chair or wherever you sat watching the video and you can get the view um, of what it what it's like without moving from your chair I did the ride so you don't have to sort of thing anyway let's continue the walk oh I just thought if you go if you go to YouTube and you put in uh, uh, the Millennium the Jurassic skyline there we are that's what it's called now the Jurassic skyline if you put in YouTube Jurassic skyline rescue I think you can see um, how people are rescued from it if it jams up I think it was Eddie the Eagle Edwards who they got down here to do the escape Jurassic skyline and rival views of the Jurassic coast which they are you go 360 uh, rotation and you see everywhere but as I say if you go to my YouTube channel at www.youtube.com forward slash zipster Z -Z -I -P -P -S -T -E -R, you can see um, and you scroll down I guess you can see uh, the video that I made okay we'll go to the far end of this pier and then I will end it for today as I say this video will be on YouTube on Tuesday morning at 8 a.m. and you can share it and you can watch it and uh, use it wherever you wish there is no uh, limitation if you want to support what I do as I say you can help me on patreon or donate on um, PayPal by going to my website or buy my pictures I'm also looking into the idea of doing talks about what I do uh, any local organizations that want just a little talk about what I do here in Weymouth if they want to get in touch with me on my website uh, through my website or on zip media Z -Z -I -P -P media at gmail.com we'll sort something out any artists or writers or any creative people who want to do an interview about what they do get in touch with me on the same email address and we'll sort something out now we are here on the old stone pier uh, the very many memories of older people here um, when they came here as children they had swimming off the pier here and I will find a image of this pier and insert it in the video so you can see what it used to look like ah what have we here yes do you think I should do a video on board that that's a high speed boat ride so do you think I should do a video about that that would be fun let me know in the comments section below whether you think I should do a ride on that it's very slow in the harbour but outside it's crazy okay let's back to the walk this is a 
a place that fishermen come down to. There used to be a restaurant on the top there, but it's closed down now. show you where we came from we came from right over there and we walked along there to the north and we read about the Abergavenny so that's the video photo walk for today I hope you enjoyed it. As I say, you can share it, you can use it wherever you wish. And I'll talk to you soon. I just want to give a big shout out to Peter Barron who helped me find the black and white photograph in the video that uh, you've just seen. Um, you can find his details by clicking on the link in the details below. Thanks again, Peter.